Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, on point reviews all day, every day. Today, we've got a really interesting house. This is the first time I will be presenting this house in my channel. And I know that this is well known in the fragrance world, or maybe the fragrance community, or even with clone buyers. But nevertheless, there are a lot of subscribers I have that when I introduce a fragrance that is well known, they actually say, This is the first time I've ever heard of it. So, I'm gonna assume that y'all don't know about it. Today we are going to talk about the house of Parfums Vintage right here, okay? And the interesting thing about Parfums Vintage is that this clone company clones only one thing, basically. One thing, and that is Creed Aventus. So oh. Parfums Vintage is a company that is dedicated to cloning one perfume which is Creed Aventus, the infamous, the king, Creed Aventus. Now, a lot of y'all will be saying, well, how do you do that? How do you create an entire company based on one perfume? Well, for those that do not know, okay, there's a lot of crazy fanfare about Aventus to the point where the fans of Aventus over the years, 2010, I believe, till now, can discern the differences between batches and years and codes they can discern the differences they can they can find out which one is darker which one is fruitier which one is smokier which one is brighter which one has more pineapple or less pineapple and i'm not sure if that's still going on today like the same enthusiasm on the batches i'm not sure i'm sure if we look into like aventus groups Facebook groups, I'm sure that's still a big thing. But I don't know now, let me know in the comments. But my point is, is that Parfums Vintage, the company, pretty much took advantage of that fact that, hey, there's different batches of Aventus, so we're going to make clones of those different batches. We're going to fine-tune our Aventus clones to match this type of demand and this type of enthusiasm. So that is really, really interesting, guys, okay? And I do want to thank my friend Jeremy because this, I mean, this review right here, this one here is born out of enthusiasm. Thank you, Jeremy. And I also do want to thank Parfums Vintage for sending me, well, the extra samples. We've got Vanilla Intense and then we've got Emperor Cologne. So if you would like me to review these, I think this is interesting for me, Vanilla Intense. So we are going to review emperor x straight this is the top billing from that house what's it about why is it different hack it troy no hype let's talk about it today let's hit the music <laughs> Okay, we're back guys parfums vintage emperor extract this is the 50 mil bottle right here it was a lot of uh interesting things jeremy told me uh when i got this package the first thing he said was please report to me what the color of the juice is because apparently at one time there was a weaker version that came out of this one with a clear juice and then the yellow juice would indicate that this is a good juice and so as you can see guys it's pretty yellow now the bottle here is absolutely beautiful i'm not going to spend a long time with the bottle but i will say this it did leave quite an impression on me i do like this bottle right here it's easy to grab right here at the same time beautiful pineapple uh right there like a metal pineapple on the bottle right there obviously denotes the love of aventus right here let's go spray this right now Yep. Let's talk about Emperor X Straight right here. This apparently is a clone of the 2016 Dark Batches, okay? And don't worry, guys, if you don't know what Dark Batch is, I'm going to hack it for you guys, okay? I'm going to hack this perfume and let you know how it really fares, why it's called a Dark Batch anyways, okay? We all know by heart the notes of Creed Aventus, right? So on the opening, guys, we've got pineapple, we got apple, we got juniper berry, okay? On the mid, we got bergamot. We got rose and jasmine, and on the base notes, we do get musk, we get ambergris, we get patchouli, we get vanilla, and we get birch, okay? 
So those are the notes of Aventus. But again, it's not about that, okay? We are going to get all the notes here, but it's gonna be tweaked based on the Parfums Vintage product that they're coming out with. So again, 2016. What am I getting here, guys, okay? The opening of this is absolutely lovely. I think the opening is one of the best parts here of Emperor X Straight because uh, for me, it smells quality. It smells Aventus-y. Really reminds me of Aventus. A lot of y'all might say even spot on. But the difference here, guys, is that on the opening and probably all the way till the mid, this one right here, this Emperor X Straight, focuses on... In my opinion, juniper berry and bergamot, okay, is more heavy on juniper berry and bergamot. Now, that doesn't mean you'll never get pineapple or you won't get apple, but the pineapple and the apple are more like, it's like tweaked, you know what I mean? It's tweaked to where uh, you could say it's just not a lush pineapple blast, you know? And in my opinion, this is important. This is important to me. Because I've smelled a lot of clones and I've smelled, you know, of course, Hachivat and its clones. And I don't know, like, I really feel like Aventus isn't meant to be this, like, super blaster type of perfume. I feel like if you tweak, like, Aventus to be too fruity and too strong, I feel like it's not going to be as good. Or, you know, you don't own Aventus at all and you don't understand what... Aventus is supposed to really, you know, feel, you know, when you're when you're using it. So actually I like this one. I like that the pineapple is not super strong and I like that they went with the bergamot as well as the juniper berry in this case, okay? And I'll I'll explain more later, okay? Now, as it continues, guys, this part actually is pretty dominant. So dominant in fact that the rose and the jasmine or it, it's just hints of it, to be honest. Like, it's kind of like, an, it's, it's well blended in, but I wouldn't say that it's really super out there, the rose and the jasmine. So again, you're really going to get this fruity, warm bergamot and juniper berry opening to mid, guys. Of course, supported eventually by rose and jasmine. But the thing, the thing about Emperor X Straight, guys, are the following notes. I think that that's where it's at, okay? And that's what really denotes this whole... Uh, dark batch thing okay and that's basically your musk it gets a lot more muskier it's way more muskier in my opinion you've got the ambergris you've got the vanilla but it's also patchouli and the birch okay so in this case guys I would say it's muskier more birch more patchouli to where in my opinion it gets semi leathery okay it sort of gets leathery towards the dry down with some clean musk right there some ambergris that's what i get here and in my opinion guys you know since napoleon is the poster boy for aventus see that's the thing if you're going to advertise that napoleon is the poster boy of aventus I mean, would Napoleon really ever wear something that fruity, like a fruity, fruity one? No. Napoleon wouldn't wear pineapple. That's where the disconnect is. He wouldn't wear that. He would wear something that would denote his generalship or his kingship or his emperor uh, stature. And with that, I really believe that this is it right here. I believe that the 2016 batch, which is balanced, I think that's the most napoleonesque type of uh, aventus compared to like the new one right here okay which is a 2020 formula apparently the smokiness for those that are wondering about the smokiness i would say it's on a decent level i wouldn't say it's ultra smoky and i had the 2015 this one the patchouli is also balanced as well it's not like a strong patchouli from the 2015 i had the patchouli was way greater okay so you're gonna get this bergamot juniper heavy opening till mid still with the pineapple and apple going to the rose and the jasmine and then eventually you're going to get a muskier semi-leathery base but after that guys comes this wonderful glorious vanilla i mean that's really the end the end is like a vanilla like ambergris vanilla combination and that one is lovely okay so it doesn't end with that leathery phase it ends with sweet vanilla powdery actually 
with that ambergris. Or maybe that's the combination. But ambergris, vanilla, that's the ending. And so that's why I quite like this one because it ends that way. I thought it was going to end like dark in a way, like it's super dark. It ends with that leather, but no, it ends up with that vanilla, okay? So do I recommend this? Yes, I would. On the smell itself, it's pretty good. Okay, so performance-wise, I know there's a lot of things being said about this perfume. So as a No Hype Honest reviewer that you guys trust, I will give the lowdown on this right here. Now, Jeremy, in his own words, he told me, you know, when you get this, you might expect that it will be a skin scent in a few hours. And one of his tricks, actually, one of Jeremy's tricks is that he actually layers this with ISOE Super. Pretty smart, okay? Now, here's what I gotta say about this fragrance, okay? This fragrance is a lingering scent, okay? Which means if you are expecting a blaster, a strong killer, you know, and, and you're from that sort of like point of view, that's why you're buying clones is because you're more on this like really strong performance. This, this ain't gonna be for you, guy, okay? This one is for those that are more about the scent itself and are more about the lingering draw-in aspects of perfume. Like me, okay? Because for me, guys, if it's just about Aventus, not only are there multiple Aventus clones out there, but there's also like these Aventus-inspired perfumes. Like I have a Bodicia called Consort. And that's also Aventus-based. Ridiculous. Orion. There's so many at this point, guys, okay? Because there are so many, um, This the only reason I would really buy this is because of the balance scent that it has. That it is pretty, like, it's pretty much a quality balanced scent version of the 2016, which costs like $400 right now, I believe, for a bottle. That's why I would buy this. And if I'm not into all those, you know, all that super projection, because it is not weak. It is not a dying scent within like four hours. After testing these guys, for me, it is a lingering scent. Matter of fact, just like how you like Aventus, it's like the, the scent like pops out every other time. And that's really what this is. It's a lingering scent. And that's why one time Jeremy told me a story of how he thought it was already gone, the Emperor X Trait, yet a lot of his coworkers would smell it on him, like way later. And that's because, guys, it is a lingering scent with varied levels of strength, okay? Sometimes it's strong, you can smell it on yourself, sometimes you don't. But for me, throughout the length of the time that I was wearing this, maybe several hours, to me, it was a lingering scent, and I could still smell it later on. So I don't really believe that it disappears. Maybe it's a skin chemistry thing. I don't know. But for me, guys, this one is a lingering scent. Again, that's a Napoleon-esque thing. Napoleon would never wear a projector anyway, something that hits people, you know? He's Napoleon. You're supposed to come in and sniff him. So that's what I think about the performance of Emperor x -Trait. Now, price-wise, guys, this is 119 I believe, for the 50 ml, and then the bigger one is 190 Either way, guys, is way cheaper than Aventus, so it's worth a try. They also do sell samples. If you hit them up and you buy a sample or whatever, let them know that it came from here. It came from Troy D247 Mall. Show them the review, so that way, maybe they can send us all the other stuff so we can compare, because this is truly, truly exciting. And like I said, it's not going to burn your wallet, because the thing is, guys, if you go after Aventus and you buy 400, 500, or even more for the older batches, guys, trust me, guys, it's, yes, it might feel worth it, but really, in this economy, I think that that wouldn't be smart. I think that would burn a hole in your wallet trying to chase a lot of these older batches. In this case, guys, this is only like 119. You can try the different batches. And to me, this is a very good adaptation of Aventus. So that is it. That is my review of Parfums Vintage Emperor x -Trait. Shout outs to the Facebook group. Uh, very welcoming. You know, there's a Facebook group just for Parfums Vintage. Shout outs to you guys. Thank you for all the feedback. And thank you to Jeremy yet again for 
sending me this to try and thanks to Parfums Vintage for all the samples that you guys gave me. And if you are down with Parfums Vintage and Aventus, make sure you guys like and subscribe, okay? Really helps the channel. Thank you for watching our videos, sharing our videos, talking on our videos, commenting. Thank you for watching the ads. It's very, very helpful. Please do subscribe, guys, and we are growing. Hopefully, we hit 6,000 very, very soon, okay? And until then, this is Troy D. I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless. Take care. Have a great day.